colleague of mine had done the master's program here over the three years and had told me all about it. Um, for me, I had ruled it out actually because I thought I just did not have the resources, the time or the headspace for three years of a master's program. Um, work was very challenging at the time and I just wouldn't have been able to invest in it. So I started out just doing one of the diplomas. Uh, I wanted to do some further education so I did the diploma in management which was kind of a follow-on from my primary business degree. It was more the broad-based nature of the management course that would tick a few boxes for me and give me that qualification in management that I didn't have. I saw an opportunity to consolidate a lot of the learning that I had done on a practical basis over the years using the postgraduate diploma courses. The BRP for me was uh, very specific uh, to my workplace because I based it on a um, on the air grid work environment and it was looking at the effectiveness and sustainability of the workplace. But it is a bit of a journey whether you like it or not because you're going through all these diplomas and all these assignments and getting to know all of these people and having all the stress that study brings. I had looked at the MBA and I had ruled it out for the same reasons that it was just I didn't have the resources or the time or the headspace to invest in it um, and subsequently have spoken to people who have done it and I think I think in many respects the BRP is actually better. You can incorporate real world experience along with the theoretical knowledge that's applied in the IMI. I think is a wonderful way to learn and to consolidate practical experience. You're dealing with a very rich diversity of people coming from all different uh, organizational backgrounds. Some are semi-states, some are multinationals, some are entrepreneurs, some are NGOs and charities and everybody is bringing to the table a different perspective and um, a, a, you know, a different way of looking at things which is hugely beneficial to the class. That was the huge difference with IMI, that it was such a mix. You had everybody from people in their 20s and I thought that was, that was funny because you can see the generation gap to people up in their 50s and everybody brought something to the table. One of the things that attracted me to the programme was that there would be other people from Irish companies and Irish industry who would be at a similar level to myself or a higher level who I could learn from who were dealing with real world problems and difficulties and we could share ideas and understandings and insights and that really attracted me at the very start. You do, generally speaking, three days a month, um, so it's done during working hours. Initially when I started I thought it was going to be a fairly theoretical it was more just a qualification, but as I got into it and went through the experience, I found that it was a huge developmental exercise for me. The IMR are very cognizant that people are under huge time pressures, and, and that's respected. I'm still in contact with a lot of the guys and girls that I was on the course with, and in fact we share, continue to share ideas and uh, opportunities. Certainly, um, it, it, it was a worthwhile journey and, and that was the end of it then last year, so I uh, got my Masters from that. I find it to be a, a very satisfying uh, experience from the point of view of development and study. And that starts, as I say, from the day you walk in the gate until you uh, finish uh, your studies here. But it was a wonderful, wonderful experience and I'm so glad I undertook it. If you're the kind of person that wants to come and sit in the back of a lecture and just take some notes and hope that you learn some theory by osmosis, I'd say it's not for you. It's very much hands-on, it's involved, it's, you're, you're, you're participating and you're learning as much from the group as you are from the lecturers.